Jesse Swan Show on Nova. Yes, we're back. We had a week off, Jack. How are you feeling? I'm good. I feel like I've... It feels like it's been longer than a week. I've it forgotten does. how to do this. It does. I barely made it into the studio today. I've been busy socialising. I know. It's a full house in the Nova Melbourne office it today. It is. And I've been raiding the Diet Coke fridge like <laughs> a bandit. Now, I, uh, I stole away to Bali for a week on my own, and I recommend it entirely without children, if you can possibly swing it. And I've got a gift for you, which I will reveal before three o'clock. <gasps> but in the meantime, let's do Say G'day. Give us a call, 13 24 10, with your number one school holiday tip. I am going to give you... It w- every parent looking after children on the school holidays ends up here, and I'm just reminding you, the car wash is a great killer of about 15 minutes. Mate, I still love the car wash. It is so fun, and you get something done I agree. While, you, while you're there. 13 24 10, give us a call. Chrissy's Say G'day. Everyone who gets through gets a Priceline pharmacy voucher. And with the weather turning as it is in this fair country, I recommend 50 plus. SPF. Sunscreen, yeah, absolutely. I just said sunscreen with an M because I'm seven. <laughs> Jocelyn, what is your yeah. number one school holiday tr- tip, my girl? Uh, I think you need to be able to relax and just let the kids play. Yes. And um, while they're doing something like swimming or, um, yeah. you know, you, you can read a book, catch up on text with friends, but I, still watching them. I know? like to say, you know, when they go, oh, I'm bored, I go, I spent my entire childhood <laughs> bored and I turned out okay. <laughs> oh, no, I have a rule in the house. If you say you're bored, I'll give you housework. Oh, savage. That is savage, Jocelyn. You have well and truly earned that Priceline Pharmacy voucher. Go crazy with your pink basket. Sarah, what is your tip? Ah, uh, just enjoying the sunshine. Go out, lie on the hammock, have fun. <laughs> Can I humbly suggest a picnic? Oh, yes. Sometimes, In the yes, sometimes <laughs> you forget. Sometimes you forget because you're so big on like, oh, we're going to go to the show or we're going to go into the gallery, we're going to do, do, do. If you just make a little boiled egg sandwich and pack it in a basket, that's a thrill. Oh, definitely. Around the pool on the hammock. Oh, around the The pool. pool. Good on you, Seve. We love a pool. We love a pool. Carla, you are our last caller. What is your secret holiday tip? Uh, go to Bunnings. <laughs> I love I this. I for mum and a Calippo and <laughs> just go nuts. Are you a tropical, tropical Calippo bunny. or the traditional lemon Calippo? I am a tropical. Are you? Tropical. It's controversial. And if you stay yeah. long enough at Bunnings, you can also get lunch there. Bang. Yep. You and can, there's a play area. So yeah, and it's air conditioned. And then you can and lose the kids Wi-Fi. and yes. just go home. Carla just said, and free Wi-Fi. <laughs> you have she really solved it. this. Good on you, Carla. The Chrissy Swan Show. No one, especially women of a certain age, should ever feel invisible, disconnected or unimportant. Priceline Pharmacy celebrates you and all your uniqueness at every age because at Priceline, it's always a festival of you. Head in store or online at Priceline.com today, you. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's Chrissy Swan Show on Nova and I'm fresh. I'm fresh back from Bali, my my favourite place. Oh, my God, that music. (laughs) I don't even know what it's called. I'm so bad culturally with Indonesia and Bali. I go there and I eat Melbourne food and drink Melbourne coffee. (laughs) I'm basically there for the sunshine. And you're basically surrounded by Australians anyway. Yeah, I am. (laughs) It's terrible, isn't it? But I do love it. It is my happy place. And I didn't, uh, I didn't cover it really on Instagram. I did. What, what do they call them? A Instagram blackout or something? I just yeah. disappeared. Good. Because I've heard that photographers follow you if you say that you're going to go somewhere. Beck, I've read an article that Beck Judd said. Yeah. She doesn't tell anyone where she's going on holidays. She's got it down pat, and then Lake Graham's everything because they will. They'll follow you. That's gross. Imagine that's your job as a pap, though. You get like a, you go to Bali to follow someone around on a scooter. Like I mean, that's a death wish. Any reason to go to Bali is a good reason. <laughs> but they would have been hard pushed to find a photograph of me because I lived like a rat, particularly last week in Bali, where I just stayed inside the whole time by the pool, and then I'd go out to eat something, and then I'd scurry back into the nest. Heaven. A total rat. But I, I feel very invigorated. Thank you for asking. I would have loved a Diet Coke count just low key. That's what every time I'd imagine when I was, it's cold and it was maybe raining here, I'd imagine you just with a DC by the pool. 100%. <laughs> and you know, the sad thing is, and I don't know if you're ready to hear this, 
you cannot get Diet Coke. Really? In Indonesia. Why? You can't get it. I don't know. You used to be able to. Now you can only buy the very small tins, cans of uh, the other one. In zero. Like zero, yeah. That's so criminal. The, so the zero count was very far from zero, if you know what I mean. I read a book cover to cover. It's called Never Simple by Liz Shire. I recommend it wholeheartedly. And Renee, friend of the show, yes, I'm going to be sending it to you. Remember I send her all my books that yeah. I like? So that is on the, on the way to you, Renee, unless you want to read it. Jack, do you read books? Mm, no, I'm no. not going to try and like. It's okay. You're a young man. Yeah. You'll get old and boring like me soon. <laughs> now, I have bought you a present. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I was so excited because I, you know, the, the, it's, there's so many shops in Bali and to forget the specific thing that I wanted was, I thought, going to be hit and miss. And so I started on my, on my journey to find this item on day two because I knew I needed some time because I had to go to a lot of shops to find it. Thank you. Turns out the first shop I went into, there it was. Do you remember not that long ago and maybe several times a week, you say? <laughs> I, knew, I knew this was going to come this day. <laughs> You say to me, I would oh. never wear a bum bag. I would never wear a bum bag. And you throw shade on me in my bum bag. I do. They're not for me. Constantly. By the way, if you're listening after three o'clock, your chance to win a limited edition money can't buy bum bag. That will change your life. I'm mixing things up today. I'm wearing a beautiful new bum bag. And you can join me, too. No, you haven't. Because <laughs> I have purchased for you the only bum bag that you said that you would wear. What did you say? You said, I would wear a bum bag as long as it's... It was a Prada bum bag. And what is in your hand? A Open Prada it up, bum bag. And it's got so much extraneous packaging. <laughs> and it, is... it is so nice. But is it real? <laughs> 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 Right. Yes, it is really a bum bag. <laughs> I will strap it on in this song and we will take a photo together with it. I will allow you to wear it crossbody as well, but only just. Thank you. Thank you, Swanee. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Mr. Ash Williams joins us. Swanee, good to be here. I just had a Werther's original and um, you can't rush them and I just swallowed it uh, <laughs> about three seconds ago. I... I always do you like them and answer this carefully. Do you like a Werther's original? Are they a sponsor of the show? No. No, I don't. Well, that means that you're a young man. No, I, do, I actually do like them. They're um, but Apparently, again, you can't rush them. You've got you, you need can't. at least five minutes. No, but I'm a chewer, so I can rush them much to Jack's horror. But, but apparently, they are the signature of old people. Oh, right. Yeah. I would have said a fisherman's friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fun in a fisherman's they friend. They are gross. Werther's Originals are delicious. They're my favourite. Now, Ash, for our friends in Melbourne, you're doing. You're here to plug a show. Yep. Go to your Instagram, at AshWilliams1. Where is the show and where can they see you? It's in Richmond. Uh, it's on October 24. Um, it's Alex Ward's there, Nick Kappa, uh, a few other comedians. I'll be there. So link is in the bio of my Instagram. If you don't already follow Ash, you must because uh, you live with your mum, the great Jen. And just, just temporarily. Just yeah. temporarily. <laughs> how, many, how many years long? has it been now? Uh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, but she, she's living with me. Do you know what I mean? Like, whose house is... To her house. But I, <laughs> I, I... There's no such thing as a free lunch. You know, I'm doing a lot of work around the house. Of course you are. Uh, and also, she's keeping you up to date with all sorts of world and local affairs via the text messages. Yes, so Mum texts me all the time. So these are the texts I get. Yeah. How do I stop the icons on my phone from wiggling? Yes, great question, Jen. How do you explain that in text message to somebody? Yeah, that's because hard. You don't. And I said <laughs> I said, wait until I get home. I got home. I said, how long has it been like this? She said, a week. I said, that's a week of wiggling. That's, that's too long. <laughs> a week of wiggling. Wait, do you mean like on her iPhone homepage? Yeah. yeah. And you know how they all go, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. But whilst they're doing that, you usually can't use the apps. Yeah. No, it hasn't. I said, you've you been using your phone? She goes, I haven't been able to. They've been wiggling. I said, look, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, what else has she got? Uh, I got lettuce and bed sheets. <laughs> no context. <laughs> But uh, everyone knows lettuce and bed sheets to go, goes together. They sure do. Um, do you have airbags in your car? There's a TV show about faulty airbags. And then another text straight away. Arn Doe is on the TV right now. <laughs> I, don't, look, I don't think the Arn Doe has anything to do with the faulty airbag show. No. And also, do you have a car? 
I do. I'm driving Dave Hughes' car at the moment. Are you? Yeah, absolutely flies and uh, giving it a real work over on the City Link. Does, does he know? <laughs> does he know that he you've does. got his car? Okay, he right. does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ash, your life is endlessly fascinating to me. You are endlessly fascinating to me. I love you. Thank you, Swanny. I love you too. Well, we're going for a walk tomorrow. We I'm are. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, but there are people who love my mum's texts. Right, yeah. and um, I get DMs all the time. It's so mm. funny, so funny. That's why I follow you. Like, I'm going to be honest, it's I for Jen's that. text. Mm. Yeah, no, I know. Um, <laughs> you're one of the guys who messages me saying, this is all I follow you for. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one girl's been messaging me, mm. and um, she's, you know, pretty cute. I bet she has. Yeah, she's about 35, mm. and she's like, uh, you know, it's pretty, um, you know, preliminary text, but it's getting flirty. Mm. And How she, delicious. Yeah, yeah, it is delicious. And mm. she she loves her mum too because mm. in her Instagram pic, the profile pic, it's her and her mum. Oh. Cute. And so we're, Yeah, we're, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's a red flag. You think? Yep. Uh, anyway. Yep. Can messing. you imagine my, my profile pic if I was ever on an app, me and Patty Swan? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> No. I was going to say Patty Newton. That, that, that's a good photo. Lauren Newton definitely would have Patty Newton. For sure. Oh, do. definitely. Yeah. She gave me the bird once at um, <laughs> Chadston Car Park. Did Shout you? out to Lauren. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Out of nowhere. I was just like there. I was She's just got six kids. She's allowed to yeah, fly the bird. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, no, I, I gave her a thumbs up. It was fair play. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this, these DMs with this uh, cute girl have been going for about a month, mm. and then uh, she put up a, a pic on Insta. Mm of uh, her and her mum mm. and said, uh, so proud of my daughter. And I'm like, hang on. What? Hang on. Is she calling her her mum her daughter? No. For the last month, I've been messaging the mum. Oh. <laughs> I've been mum fished. This is amazing. And You've been mum fished. She still, and she still wants to catch up. I bet she does. And I bet you do. Well, I'm thinking, two can play that game. I'll just bring my mum. <laughs> it's a double mum fish. <laughs> That's so great. But oh. you know that she's probably in a sexual prime. She could probably teach you a thing or two about a thing or two. At 65? Yeah. <laughs> Is that prime? Yeah. yeah. Nursing homes go off, man. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> head to Ash's <laughs> head to Ash hey, Instagram. Hey, I won't argue it. <laughs> at Ash Williams one. Click on the link in bio to see him in Richmond later yeah. this month. Thanks for coming in, Ash. Thanks, guys. Chrissy's clickbait. Oh, I'm mad for a Super Bowl halftime entertainment. I live for it. I loved Bad Gal Riri last year. This Agreed. Year. And the one before where all the old rappers came out. Yes. I knew them all. You didn't know any. <laughs> Uh, because I'm gangster like that. Yeah, you know? you're hood. I'm a secret. <laughs> I'm a secret gangster. Well, the uh, the halftime show and entertainment has been announced, and I was underwhelmed. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. So was I. <laughs> this is what the announcement sounded like. Wait, wait, it's Kim. I'm at the studio, man. I finally got the answer to those rumors. Can you guess? It's not about me. It's about you. You're doing the Super Bowl. Who? Go play on me, man. You're playing the Apple Music halftime show in Vegas. No, for real. Don't play like that. I don't have time to play. One, I'm busy. Two, you're doing the Super Bowl. Put that on everything. I put that on everything. Damn. So it'll be like me, my entire family, all my kids. Blah, blah, blah. I've lost interest. It's a send my ticket request to? I'm going to call you back. Wait, yeah. We'll be in touch. I'm going to call you back. It's a very annoying, pointless, nonsensical ad. I don't know why they did it. Why does... What's it got to do with Kim Kardashian? Well, Kim, earlier this year, went to Usher's show in Vegas, and it was kind of the only bit of press Usher got for his show because well, the Kardashians went. Obviously, the halftime entertainment is Usher, and I was like, has he got it? What? A whole... What? Huh? Like Janet Jackson, yes, she's got heaps of hits. Rihanna, yes, heaps of hits. But before you judge, let's have a stroll through Usher Avenue. I mean, yes. Tune. Tune. What else you got? I mean, someone hold me back from and the dance floor. This. Oh, yes. See, it all of a sudden, I'm fully on board. Are there any more? Oh, that's my favourite. This is the best. I found you finally, you make me want to say, oh, 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 oh. What do you think he'll end with? I think this or, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they announce another guest, though. 
I think he does need a little bit of support yeah. there and a lot of pyrotechnics. <laughs> Absolutely. Here is another headline that uh, I definitely clicked on heading into school holidays. I'm hiring a babysitter to look after my four kids, but only if they have a master's degree, no tattoos or piercings, and can live off $6 an hour. I mean, the fact... So this woman has advertised in America for this role. She's got four kids, but you cannot look after them. The master's degree, no tattoos and piercings is one thing. Of course, I have absolutely no problem with any of that. If you turn up to my house and you agree to stay there until I get home, you're in. But the $6 an hour? And for four kids, like, that's a lot of work. $30 an hour I'm paying at the moment to be here with you. $30. That's the going rate for babysitter. Right. I remember when I started babysitting, $5 an hour, and I had absolutely no experience, none, never even changed a nappy. I was looking after four children, $5 an hour. You look back on that and you think, that's a bit neglectful. <laughs> absolutely. I barely kept them alive. But anyway, I think they survived. <laughs> Chrissy's Quizzy. Karen and Fiona are, uh, are our players today, and Karen and Fiona, one of you is going to join the bum bag trio <laughs> because I finally got Jack into his very own bum bag. Woo-hoo. Yeah, oh, awesome. it's very <laughs> exciting. The one that you're playing for isn't as fancy as the one I bought from Bali for Jack, but it is still the limited edition money can't buy bum bag. Look at that! Did you hear that click? <laughs> That clink is a knockoff black Prada bum bag, my friend. Tom, <laughs> after this, can you come in and get a photo of us with our bum bag? Okay, fantastic. Let's go, girls. Your name is your buzzer. It's the best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins the game and will walk away with the bum bag. Question number one. The Brownlow medal will be awarded tonight. Which sporting code does this medal count belong? Karen. Yes, Karen. <laughs> NRL? No. Fiona? Fiona. AFL. Yes, it's the Australian Football League. Question number two. Uluwatu is a region in which country? Fiona. Yes, Fiona. Bali. Have you ever been there? Yes. To Uluwatu? Yes, yes. What did Five you think? Years ago. What did you think? I loved it. Absolutely I just, loved it. I just never get better. there because you've got to wait an hour. It takes an hour in a car. I was, I'm never in the mood. Is Uluwatu d- at the bottom? It's north. Oh, it's north. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a fancy... You'd love it. It's a fancy beach club and okay. tunes and drinks. It is. It's cool. All right, this one is for the win, Fiona. Come on, Karen, I believe in you. Come on, Karen. Come back. On this day, 22 years ago, Britney Spears released this song. <laughs> sleep, what is it called? Hmm... No idea. I got nothing. No, I got nothing either. I never knew that. It's I'm a slave uh, for you. One of her greatest tunes. Jack loves it. <laughs> Question number four. Still in the game, Karen, but Fiona, this one for the win. Which Australian actor has become recently single after 27 years? Fiona. Yes, Fiona for the win. Hugh Jackman. It is Hugh Jackman. Oh, really? Oh, did Car- Karen? Are we only breaking the news now that Love yes. Is Dead? Yeah. I hope. I hope you're in a safe place. Yeah, Deborah Lee Furness and he called it quits last oh, okay. week. Wow, sad. Yeah, it is sad. Twenty-seven years is a good run, though. Like I would deem that a success. It is absolutely no. a success. Oh, Karen disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out more. <laughs> good on you, Karen. Fiona, enjoy that bum bag. We will be sending you one. We'd like a selfie of you in it, actually. Oh, thanks, guys. Yes. Add it to the gallery. Back from your break. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're back from holidays. We hope that you're enjoying yours if you're having them. I want to talk to you about great pimples of history. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because there are some pimples. I was literally in the back of a cab in Bali on the way to the airport and I just touched the size of, side of my nose. Yeah. Because I thought that there was something sore there. Turns out there wasn't. But just as I touched it, I remembered a great pimple from history. <laughs> 13, 24, 10. Are there zits that you've had in your lifetime, probably in the teenage years, that you never forget? I had one on my nose 
that was the size of half of my nose mm-hmm. and so sore like it was on fire. And how long did it last? Was it a stayer? It seemed like months. Yeah, I hate And that. it never matured. It never developed. It never did anything but throb and pulsate and be painful and red. Yeah. That was a great pimple of history. Do you remember the age... That you Teens. Were. Yeah, because my pimple of history that I remember, I think I was around 13 or 14. Isn't it weird that you can remember the specific pimples? Well, it's so funny you bring this up because I brought it up to, I think, my mum the other day. There's, I've got this little tiny lump on the side of my nose on yeah. the left side, and it's from one of those pimples of history. You're joking. And stayed in scars. Oh, my God, I can see it. Yeah. And I'm, it really icks me when I'm put doing like my skincare in the morning, and I'm like, surely I could get that removed or somehow s- scratched off. It's, wow. It's so small that I'm sure no one else would notice. I have never noticed it, and I've looked at your face pretty much every day for eight years. I know, but I get it. It's 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 there. My friend Beck had another great pimple of history. Mm. It was right between her eyes, oh. right? And it was so swollen that she looked like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when yes. lions have that wide bridge, it was so swollen. A great pimple of history. Another one I had was just in the curve of my nostril. Oh, they're painful. That little crease is painful. And I couldn't get at it to squeeze it. I couldn't do anything. But I'll never forget those great pimples of history. And I want to know, is that is is my brain the only brain that is wired like that? I don't think so, Swanee. But I wonder if Miley Cyrus has ever had a pimple she's never been able to forget or get over. Totally. In her party days. Of course she would have. Yeah. I had one that I'll never forget. It took up half of my nose. And I remember it as if it was yesterday, and yet it would be 30 years ago I that get since it. I had that pimple. And you had the same one. On my left, on the left side of my nose, and there's still a little bump from it. How cute. We had matching pimples at one stage in our lives, and now we've got matching bump backs. <laughs> We're so cute. Jennifer, what is your great pimple of history? Well, I still have it to this day, but it's just it's on my jawline, and it's one of those invisible pimples that never, ever go away, no matter how many times I squeeze it, no matter how many times I try different things, no matter how many facials, it never goes away. Jennifer, do you know what? I am not a doctor, but that has never stopped me from diagnosing a goddamn thing. I'm going to tell you, that is a hormonal area of the face. It's horrible, hey? Yes, go to a doctor. Taking a note, yes. Yeah. Go to a doctor because the, the jaw ones are something different. They're okay. something No, I'm not like you're not gonna die. I was gonna Jen. say is there something more serious. No, no, you're happening? not gonna die, but it's a hormonal Doesn't one. Google it's, in the house. it's a no no, do not Google. No, do not Google. <laughs> I love it. Great pimples of history. Karen, what was your great pimple of history? Hi, look I have one up my nostril. Oh no, Karen. Left or right, Kaz? It was up the right. Oh, my God, it hurts so much, and you can't get to those suckers, can you, Karen? No, I couldn't get to it, and it was there for three months. Oh, my God, and you want to turn your nostril inside out, but no, the nose doesn't work yep. like that. That's correct. Karen, oh, Karen, I'm sending you a Priceline pharmacy voucher, maybe some tweezers or whatnot. <laughs> Nicole, what was your <laughs> great pimple of history? Oh, Chrissy, hi. We're going to get a bit intimate here. Great. Um, my breast, my right breast. Be exact. Okay, uh, I it love was it. Like a third nipple. Yeah. Oh. Was it un- was it underneath Nicole? Was it in on the underbelly of the teat? It, uh, yeah, that's mm. about right. Actually, mm. yeah, on the underbelly, still got the scar. Twelve months on, uh, oh. but I have beautiful little baby girl now. Yes, so it's all worth it. <laughs> Keep your eye on it, Nicole, because someone you're speaking to right now has also had a very similar injury in that area. Right. And they tend to come back. I've wondered. Good yeah. old hormone too, hey? I know, I know. <laughs> what business does a pimple have <laughs> to grow on a boob? I know. If, if it isn't enough to cop, hey? Agreed, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Priceline Pharmacy voucher for you, Nicole. And let's finish with Melissa. Where is your pimple of history located? <laughs> I had one, believe it or not, on my bum. I love this. Tell us all about it. Was it a boil or just a pimple? <laughs> it was a pimple, but it was really, really big. I remember it was that five years ago to the point where I could not sit on my bottom. <sighs> and I remember my father-in-law said to me to rub shaving cream on it. Really? And does that work? Did it work? Yes, it did. Within two days, it was gone. Did he offer to rub it in? Because that's a whole other phone topic, Melissa. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy.
This is Clickbait. Speaking of Kylie Minogue, she says that she wants people to move on and stop asking questions about her love life. Amen, Kylie. I don't know of anyone else, man or woman, that has had more column centimetres dedicated to nonsense about being lucky or unlucky in love. And also, she's Kylie Minogue. Good on her if she has had several partners. Who hasn't? Correct. I don't know why some people attract that kind of obsession with, you know, finding the one and all of that. You know, it's just bizarre. I really hope that, you know, at the age of, what, 50-something, that finally... People will stop talking about that. It's the least interest. It's the least interesting thing about her. I tell you what is interesting though is that Vogue Australia cover that she's done in which she's spoken about this. That's the stunning. Photos of her are amazing. She is extraordinary. She has hit a purple patch that I don't even think she saw coming. You know she's number one everywhere at the moment. That album, pretty much everywhere. The album as well, Swanee, it dropped on Friday. Yeah. It's a good album. Track two, I would recommend. Really? It's a dreamy vibe. It's called Hold On To Now, but Tension's a good album. Okay. that I mean, that that's the only review that I need from you, Hollywood Jack. She's got a residency in Vegas. I know. I want to go so bad. I really want to go. Me too. I just, I don't know. No, I won't say too much. Just be listening Friday. That's all I need to tell you. Okay. You're listening and you like Kylie, could be something exciting coming on Friday. That's some good sizzle, Swanee. It's some good sizzle. Tell you what else is sizzling. Taylor Swift's love life. She has hard launched, which is a phrase that I really enjoy. Same. Do you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, because sometimes my mates and I will DM each other like another friend when they upload an Instagram story of like themselves with a girl or a guy yeah. with like the hand at dinner and we're like soft launch. Yeah, I That's know. That's a soft launch. That's a soft launch. And then there's a hard launch. Which In is fact, what I think done. I got accused of uh, a so- soft launching my relationship with Ash Williams. Oh, on the Daily on, Mail. On Instagram, yeah. Because we're friends, he was on our show earlier, hit up the podcast if you want to find out what that rascal has been up to. But I can assure you that there is absolutely no romance there. We are platonic friends. But, yeah, that was uh, an accusation of a soft launch. <laughs> Love it. Taylor Swift has hard launched her relationship with Travis Kels. He is a, I want to say, gridiron player. Is yeah, plays the, the Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL. I mean, I think this is perfect. I think... You know, he looks exactly like the sort of guy that Taylor Swift would be with. Now, off air, I was saying I think he's a hot. Like, he's he's a good-looking jock, but he, not your type. No, I said off air that um, he doesn't do it for me, but I get it. Okay. I, I, I understand. Because she's just a sweet little country girl, yeah. you know. She wants a man with a moustache and a big set of shoulders. And that's what she's got. That good is absolutely her. what she's got. Hey, I heard rumours today. Mm. Her... Eras tour has been made into a film. That was wasn't the rumor I heard today. I heard that a few weeks ago, but it had a, it had an American launch date, and I've been waiting and waiting. And apparently, it's going to be here in Australia in a few weeks. <gasps> the question is this: No Swan, you cannot go and see it. I can't see it. No. Can I? You knew what my question I, was. My question is: Do I go and see it? But then I've seen the Eras tour, and what's the point in going to the real one? I know, and I know you don't like leaving the house. But you must leave the house for Taylor Swift I will. to see her live. I will. Speaking of leaving the house, I, I just saw these photos of Taylor. She's dressed up in a cute outfit. She's at her boyfriend's football game. And I just thought, you are a much better woman than I, Taylor, because there is no way. Do you know how busy she is? Yeah, but... She is in a different city all the time. She's been supporting Sophie Turner in New York City. She's working her ass off. And she's still got time to get a hairdo and yell at her boyfriend's, you know, football game. I just... She is a marvel. I think that we're about to uncover a theory that there are actually three of her. (laughs) Okay, mate. (laughs) Because there is no way one woman can do all that. You spent too much time by a pool and barley coming up with conspiracies. (laughs) I really did. Not as many conspiracies as Russell Brand, but that's for a different day. We didn't even get to scratch the surface with that today. Oh, my God. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.